Here's the thing about Kisan game Sansu Go to Roknen. I got it solely to check off the box. So after I got it, I popped in the system, turned it on to see if it worked, and then put it away. So this is my very first time playing it. Not that many people would want to play calculation game 4th and 5th grade math. But after the 4th grade version wound up having a semi-decent minigame in it, I thought maybe there will be some fun to be had in this one. I was so, so wrong. The final game in Tokyo Shoseki's educational series is similar to the last one, where it's more ambitious than the original three. These games have multiple stages with escalating difficulty, more complicated gameplay elements, and they're all terrible. Let's start with the shooter. It's intended to teach decimal multiplication and decimal division. And to do that, you play a very boring shoot 'em up, then fly into this box, and inside you select the number on the left and touch the flashing point on the right. Even once you finish the calculation, there will still be a flashing box on the right to put a number into. What you actually have to do is just walk out the door. Do this a few times and you face a boss. I'm not going to comment on the symbolism of an educational game having you blow up a brain. It takes a while before there's any difficulty in the shoot 'em up sections. Later stages add more ships and more bullets. It's a pretty mediocre game. And yet, it's the better of the two. The other game tries to teach fraction multiplication and division. To do that, you have to push yellow seeds into the baskets, similar to a box pushing puzzle. All of the odd numbers are on the left hand side of the map, all of the even numbers on the right. To get seeds, there are all these flowers. You can water them with the B button to make them grow a little bit faster. But they'll also grow on their own pretty quickly. The red flowers become red seeds, and pushing one of those into a basket is always incorrect. So you have to get the red seeds out of the way, then get the yellow seeds into the correct baskets. There's also insects that are chasing you around, and you can stun them for a short time with a spray of insecticide. When they're stunned, you can pass through them. The later levels make the block pushing much more complicated. This is the only game in the Kaysan game series where there's four levels of difficulty instead of two. But if you set it to the fourth, there's not enough time on the timer to fill in all of the blanks. Especially since you have to run back and forth constantly between the far ends of the map. You move on a grid system in this game, but you can't really see the grid very clearly. And that winds up making the whole thing feel very clumsy. I have no idea why they require you to grow the flowers first before you can push things. Especially when 30 seconds into the round, all of the flowers have become seeds anyways. It's terrible as a block pushing puzzle. It's terrible as a maze chase. This one is just terrible. And that takes me to a milestone. We are done with educational games on the Famicom. Oddly enough though, Textbook company Tokyo Shoseki isn't done with the platform. They actually make a few more games, and some of them are kind of interesting. I have one last thing to note about the Kaysan game series. They had unique warning labels on the back. So please, don't stick your face directly up against a computer monitor. <laughs>